Hello, in our previous videos we opened the ESP32 project directory and established the Node.js server and also established the MySQL database inside the workbench and also checked the command which was sent by Postman via the middleware of Node.js and was saved inside MySQL database. Now we will implement the same command inside ESP32 which will enable us to send data from ESP32 in the ESP IDF environment inside MySQL database. Here we have a Node.js server which has the following uh, functionality. Th this um, file was uh, checked in the previous videos. I just will go over briefly about the functionality of the server. After establishing the relevant uh, passwords, uh, which we talked in the previous videos, we define the database and connect to the database after which we, we write that is connected and write the current time in mils. After it we start listening to the following port 8085 and write it into the console. In case we get the GET request we send that the GET request was activated and, uh, and print the MySQL data to the screen here from the MySQL database. In case of the POST request, we send that the POST function was activated. We send the data which was received which is which time in mils, uh, which data in mils, and then we save the data to the MySQL database here. Now we will write the file for the ESP32. In our ESP project, we have two files, my data with the uh, passwords, which we also have in the GitHub, and the proj5, this file. Inside the GitHub Sims IoT devices, we will choose MySQL, MySQL ESP IDF. And here we will take the C file and uh, copy it, not, not this one, uh, this one, yeah, and uh, copy it, it full. Okay. Here we have to notice some uh, very important thing that here the IP address of the Node.js server is correlated to my computer and this address is dynamic. So we will run the server and hope that it will be on the same IP address. Maybe we will have to update this address if the address of my computer has changed dynamically. So let's try to run it. Now the server is running. And now let's compile the program. If you want to check your current IP address in Windows, use ipconfig. Also in Mac you have uh, 
the parallel uh, command and ipconfig will, uh, will show you which, uh, which address you are using here. We got Wi-Fi. We have initiated the uh, data, so the get request, standard get request was okay. Also, w the get function was activated, and it was written to us the data that we have from the previous videos. And then the post function was activated, and we received the data which. Uh, uh, was written. Now, for example, we want to run it again is to see that this data was entered inside the table. So we will break it and go for um, monitor. Now the program is rerunning. After Wi-Fi, we got our test data received and we send our GET request. Here you see in the table, you have two lines of code. The, the data from previous video and the data from current video. Here is data from ESP32. And also he wrote it again. Uh, after this uh, operation, we expect to see three lines. The first one is the uh, data from Postman, this and the second and the third data from ESP32. To check it in the different way, we can go to our workbench, our database, and inside tables, open the table. And here we can see this data, all the three lines, including this current line with the current time here. So the, the code is working. So now we can conclude our series of videos with the live demonstration of the data written from the ESP32 inside the ESP IDF environment inside a MySQL uh, database. Thank you.